Hello Spartans, we're back for part two of creating a website with Photoshop and if you recall we uh, made these two buttons and we converted these to a smart object. Okay, now this one says home copy so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that to Photoshop and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and then that uh, way I can save some time and then um, you're going to see more buttons populated along this uh, header here. Okay, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and as you see I have five new buttons or actually technically I have three more new buttons and as you see, I've uh, named most of them correctly. I just have to uh, name this last one Flash. And they don't have to be in any particular order, but here you go. I have my About Me, Flash, Illustrator, Photoshop, and Home. Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going we're gonna, to uh, create new smart objects in the same fashion that we made all of these buttons, but this time we're going to change them uh, change the colors because when we uh, when it's time for us to export all of these um, via slicing um, into Dreamweaver we want extra buttons so that we can create a rollover effect so in other words when you take your cursor and you roll over the button by just moving the cursor above it um, we want that button to create that different effect okay so that effect will be in the form of changing the colors okay so here's what I mean I'm gonna to go to my home button and uh, just like before I'm gonna go ahead and use new smart object via copy okay now I'm gonna name this roll and then I'll just put home okay and um, that you know obviously that that's gonna let me know which one's supposed to be the rollover and which one is the uh, the normal button. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this and I'm simply going to change the color. So I'm going to first start with uh, this yellow color and basically I'm just going to go for an opposite effect. Okay, and I'm going to grab some of the purple from the header. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to save this. And it's that simple. So you see what I have here. If I take visibility off that, you'll see that the um, regular home button is sitting underneath. Um, actually, though, I'm going to just go ahead and drag the roll home underneath the home layer. And um, later, when it's time to slice these individual uh, regions and images, you'll see how that's going to work. Okay, so we'll just. Uh, put it uh, under there nicely, okay? Um, I'm going to go to the next one and do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and new smart object via copy. I'm going to call this uh, roll. Uh, let me do that again. So I'm going to call this roll photo, photo for short. And then I'm going to double click this. And um, and go ahead and change the color. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to um, choose this yellow color from the, from the button, say OK, and then go ahead and change the button to purple. Click OK. And then save it and close it. And then I'll just drag that below Photoshop. And so you see a pattern going on here. So just just remember, I've got that button hiding underneath. Okay, I'm going to Illustrator and do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and use Smart Object, and I'm going to change that to Roll Illustrator, and click that, and double click, change the color, and then change the background. Okay, fairly straightforward, fairly simple, and I'm just going to, again, drag that one below so you can see it's all there. Okay, 
and let me keep going here flash copy I actually call this roll flash double click it click OK Okay, as you can see, I paused the video and I just continued on. I had a little interruption earlier, um, so I took care of that. Um, what I've done here is I'm showing you every other layer. So I've turned off the regular About Me layer, the regular Flash layer, just to show you that I put all those Roll buttons underneath the regular buttons. Okay. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and select all the buttons. Okay, so you can do that by uh, clicking on the bottom. Don't include the header here. Um, so this is just going to be for the buttons. So I'm going to select that bottom one, hold Shift, and select the top one. And now I'm just going to do Control G. I'm going to call this group Navigation Buttons. Okay, and that just keeps it in a nice spot. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is save this, and I'm going to close this up, okay? And the next step is making our logo. And so I'm going to come to a new document, call this Logo Template, and it's going to be a width of 300 and a height of 100, okay? And that's the same size as that area that's to the left of those navigation buttons. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and save as. And it's going to go right into that folder. I'm going to make sure it's in the right folder. And let's see. There it is. Under Assets and Save. OK. I'm going to expand the window here. And I'm going to zoom right in. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a simple logo and we do that by grabbing onto this custom shape tool. Now I know that we made a logo early on in the semester and you're welcome to use that but that's a different lesson and I can show you individually those of you who want to use that and that's just a simple place command okay and you can drop your Illustrator logo right in. What you don't want to do though is add that background but again uh, I can help you individually but I'm going to just show you how easy it is to make a, a logo straight out of our shape tool. Um, what you're going to want to do in order to get all of these symbols is you're going to want to come over to the right arrow here, this little right arrow, select all, and then hit the append button. And that's going to generate or populate all these different shapes. Okay? And so what your job is is to, do, to create some sort of uh, logo, a fun little design, uh, along with the name of your um, website. Um, it can be just about anything. I'm just going to take this fun little shape here. I have no idea what I want to do with this, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do the default shape. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rotate this. And you can do just about anything you want. Um, if you want to start out by doing what I'm doing, you're free to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this and I'm going to hold down Option get that double arrow and that's going to allow me to um, make a copy. And now I think I'm just going to reduce the size here. I'm holding down Option and Shift. I'm going to hit Return. I'm going to do that again. Um, again, I have really have no idea what I'm doing um, in terms of where this is headed. Um, but I like what I have so far. And now you see I have three shapes here. I'm going to go ahead and do Control T. I've selected all these layers, and I'm just going to move that in a little bit. Okay. Um, heck, maybe I'll flip this vertically. Or is that looking too much like the gas station sign chevron? It is have it has that chevron look. In any case, that looks good. Um, perhaps I need to turn it that way. All right, I like it. Um, let me go ahead and change the color. And I'm going to give it sort of that 
uh, same color uh, as my website. That's important too. And maybe I'll keep this one black. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make this a smart object. And I'll go ahead and uh, scale that up. Okay. And from that point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and name my website. And again, this is going to be my own personal website, so I'll go ahead and uh, um, use my last name. Okay. And I'll uh, put that one, maybe I'll put that one over here and resize this. Conti, and then maybe add another layer, and I'll do uh, lowercase design. Okay, I'll put that right here. All right, maybe uh, from that point I'll just add a couple of uh, fun rectangles. Let me set that one up here. Maybe another one up here. Control T and grab that, hold down Option, get a double line, skinny that up, hit Return, and I'm not really liking where that is. Maybe I'll put that one, uh, put that one down here. Let me switch that up. And do control T. Okay. Stretch that one out. A little better. And control T. So I'm just sort of switching those out. Okay. Now, you know I did a logo design tutorial for the other class. Um, you're welcome to try that. And it's up to you how you want to do that and just sort of change that color out and this sort of ties together. Okay, not the best design, but um, you get the idea. Spend some time and you'll have something pretty doable. Um, I do have some others I made today. Let me see, maybe uh, this one will prove to be better. Let's see, I already have that one open and let's see. Let me pause the video here. All right, so I, what I've done is uh, located some of the other logos I made today. And uh, I'll put the background on so you can see them better. And this one was done during third period. This one, I think, was second. And this one was, was first period. And I think I did each one of these in about, uh, I don't know, five, five to ten minutes, maybe less. Uh, as you know, I made this very quickly. None of them are any good, although I do like this one. I kind of like that one. But again, these were just created from those, those shape tools. So just have fun with it and see what you can do. Um, the last step you're going to do is you're just going to bring this into your, um, your layout. So I'm going to do that right now and show you how 